Julia Colfi is a multimedia artist, photographer, and writer who has spent long periods of time in places like Mongolia, China, or the Chelsea Hotel in New York, trying to capture the unique spirit of these places. She has also spent a few months living in the Alps in southeastern Switzerland to record the sound of melting glaciers. The songs are very, very different. Even since I've been here this morning, um, I already have heard six different songs just in a, in a half an hour, and maybe I've recorded something like, not only from this glacier, but around the glacier and the fingertips of the glaciers and, and the ice, I think uh, maybe 300 different songs. So they're amazingly different. Julia Colfi is a member of the New York chapter of the Explorers, a club dedicated to the advancement of science. Among its most famous members were Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to reach the summit of Mount Everest, or Tor Heyerdahl, the first man on the North Pole. Her new multimedia project is called The Last Songs of the Glaciers. This uh, extreme warming of our client is going to have serious consequences for today. And so I hope when people hear these songs of the last glaciers, these dying glaciers, and they think this, these songs mean that there's going to be no more water coming from these glaciers. The Lanta Glacier, two kilometers of ice mass, 30 meters at the highest point on the north side. Julia Colfi and her assistant spent most of the summer and fall near the ice sheet. For the New York-born photographer, to document the impact of global warming on the glaciers, a camera wasn't enough. This is why, for the first time, she also used a microphone. At the beginning, the water sounded like laughter. It's just a bit of water running downhill, I thought. But it's not just that. What's really exciting is that every little brook has its own sound. Even the same one at different altitudes sounds different. Day after day of recording and photo shooting, month after month. And this is the final result. The whole time Julia and her assistant took photos and recorded sound, they lived in a container more than 2,000 meters above sea level. Sleeping is actually really divine. I can't tell you how it is to be in a small bed here at night, have the window open, and only the only sound or really song, this was truly a song, was the song of that river that you hear right now. And the peace, that, and the peace of the universe. The Alpine hut nearby helped Julia get the container up there. The hut warden has spent 13 years running the building and managing its guests. He's seen the glacier melt away before his very eyes. He likes the fact that this time, an artist is confronting the problem and not a scientist. This is a totally new approach. Julia's world is at times a bit chaotic, but I think this project has been a good thing. It's a sound that's still fighting to live. It's the sound of the glacier saying, I want to live on. I don't want to die. I want to live. Not so long ago, the Lanta Glacier covered this whole area.